Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for Beat TV at the Cable Show in Los Angeles. John Lansing is here as well. He is the president of Scripps Networks, which is just days away from launching its newest cable channel, the Cooking Channel, to nearly 60 million homes on May 31st. He talked to us about what's entailed and who you will see on air on that network. So, John, you're launching a new network, the Cooking Channel, in a couple yes. weeks. Tell us about it. Well, Food Network has been just an overwhelming success for us, having grown 20% this year and 20% last year. And we realized with all the competition in food programming on all the other networks that there was just a growing market for more content. And so who better than us to create another full 24-7 channel dedicated to cooking? Okay, now some people would say, but there's Top Chef on Bravo, and there's all sorts of other, I mean, Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution on ABC. Does this say there's a lot of competition or huge demand? The, you know, the demand is unbelievable in the, in the food category, in the cooking category. Our uh, signature shows like uh, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives is up year over year, double digits. Um, all of the food programming on the other networks is among the leading uh, programming on our competitive networks. And so we see it both as an offensive strategy to grow the food category in, in cable and beyond, and also somewhat as a defensive strategy to build a moat around our dominant position in the food category on cable TV. And as you may know, we've moved beyond even TV into other mediums with food. The Food Network magazine is the fastest growing magazine since Oprah. And in two years, it has gone to 1.3 million subscribers. So the, I guess the bottom line, Daisy, is that the demand for the category of food is just exploding, and we want to take advantage of that. So tell us what we'll see on the Cooking Channel, some of the programs and the, the type of content. It will be a little edgier, more fun, more younger skewing, um, targeting subjects that we really don't spend a lot of time on with Food Network, whether that's kids cooking, ethnic cuisine, cocktail hour, baking, um, a variety of new formats and a variety of new up-and-coming talent from around the world that will give the network a real young, fresh, energetic appeal. And, and I've seen a lot of it so far and I have to tell you it looks fantastic. But now you also have some of your familiar faces to kind of help seed the network and get people tuned in. Talk to us about who, who, who we already know that we'll see, like Rachel Ray. Yeah, well we talked to Rachel, we talked to Emeril, and we talked to Bobby Flay and we said, you know, we could really use your help to get it launched. And they were really enthusiastic about that, and they decided to help us, work with us, to create new, new shows, new series that they're hosting. So it's not their series from Food Network, they're new series that they're doing, and they're bringing those to the Food Network, from the Food Network, pardon me, we're bringing those to Cooking Channel in order to help launch it and get it going. But over the long haul, our goal is uh, to develop and uh, exhibit new talent and new formats. Bobby, Rachel, and Emerald will help us get started. What sort of new media extensions will you have for the network? Will it be online? Will it be on mobile phones? Yeah, well, so when we met with all the cable distributors and satellite distributors, we talked to them about making this the first fully authenticated cable network. So this network will be authenticated right out of the gate, working with our distribution partners to operate on every platform imaginable. And you and I have talked about this before, but we're really agnostic as to platforms. We just feel like our job is to get our content to a consumer through whatever platform that consumer finds useful to them, whether it's an iPad, an iPhone, you know, online, cable, satellite. Uh, our job is just to find that consumer where they are and then give them the best possible content we can. What does that mean when you say fully authenticated? It means that we'll have uh, the resources to work with our cable partners to provide the content on their uh, interactive services uh, from the very beginning. So it'll be VOD uh, enabled and enabled for their websites from the beginning of the launch of the network. Final question, John. What's the secret sauce to your success? Our secret sauce to our success is that we focus on the consumers first. And we create programming that really moves the consumer to watch our shows and after watching our shows want to do something about it. Cook a meal, have a party, have fun. That's what we're all about. Inspiration, ideas, and then everybody enjoys it at the end of the day. Thank you, John. Thank you, Daisy.